Cubs, what's brewing? Welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry you're quite close. The new desk I have is quite narrow and it goes across. I can only push it back so far. So I'm trying to find a good compromise between, hey, you can hear me and um, not up my nostrils. So apologies for that. Um, also, if we're going to start the video uh, with apologies in true goal fashion, um, there are some kids playing outside and occasionally they're putting music on. If it gets too bad or if it picks up quite badly on the camera, I will maybe put a backing track in to try and cover it. Hopefully I won't need to, but if there is one right now, that's why. So, thank you very much for understanding. Now, Chantal has released a video, and apparently this is the way forward for her channel. So, it's only eight minutes, and I figured it was going to be easier just to react to it rather than recap it. Uh, but if her videos get longer at any point, or if, you know, she releases any at all after this, I'll, um, I'll just look at them on an individual basis in terms of how I treat them. So, let's just get into this one, shall we? I bought a new mug. I do enjoy it. Got it at um, Miniso. I don't know if you have that where you are. It's, it's one of the cute shops. Lots of accessories, lots of mugs and things. I'm liking it. We're going to try this for a second time because I got a couple of minutes in and realized I wasn't screen grabbing it. It's been a while. Oh, I know I just did that recap, but I've lost all my uh, routines with it. Um, the beginning is quite loud. I apologize. Her voice after isn't, so um, excuse the volume. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. So as you can see, this is a video. I think you've heard me say many times on my channel, guys, the following words. Changes happen so fast for me. We're going to get into this later, but I'd like you all to remember that she met this guy five days ago. I'm pretty sure it's five days at this point. That is, that is the change time we are looking at. Also, what she's going on about, oh, I'm doing it to be respectful and respectful of what she's in the Canadian culture. She's not uh, surrounded in large numbers by people wearing the hijab or practicing Islamic faith. Now, of course, it's a huge multicultural pot of people in Canada. I'm sure, sure there's a population for it, but it's not in her personal life. So this talk about, oh, I'm being respectful. No, she's enticing other men. That's what she's trying to do here. She's trying to become whatever man or whatever stereotype she thinks this new man wants. Um, it's nothing to do with, with her or her feelings in this matter. But while she's justifying it as, oh, I just thought it was cute. I feel more secure with everything covered up, which we will also talk about because I'm, I'm rolling my eyes so hard. I'm afraid they might come out of my head at some point during this react, which would really be the spooky season for you. <laughs> There's a car outside, just beep it, it's on. But she started this video with Arabic music and the word she used at the beginning of this is the word for welcome. So, <laughs> but def definitely not, not uh, me, me faking being Islamic, not at all. Sometimes you meet the love of your life when you least expect it. Things happen for a reason. So are we calling him the love of her life now? Is that what's happening? So. I just want to say I don't expect people to understand my journey with good reason right now and that's totally normal because you're not living it um, and we can understand it because we're outside of it it looks very very obvious from the outside of it the dude that claims to be the dude talking to us so it's a little hard because I want to say the dude and then the I think Saleh is his name so this dude could be anyone behind the screen they haven't met and so far, what's been pulled up is he has multiple Facebook accounts. And apparently, I hate to take this as proof because you never know who's behind the screen. And troll accounts um, mimic real accounts all the time. But there's a rumor going around that apparently he came into somebody's chat and was admitting that he doesn't live in Kuwait, he lives in Germany and um, some other things. Like I said, I'm not sure how much... Uh, faith I put in that because once things get into the community people do some shit so I wouldn't call it proof but there is a question of catfishing to be sure and bear in mind that foodies like no man will ever will ever um, 
I will never change for any man again, or something to that regard. She has said before, after Nadra, after she was going to be a strong, independent woman, and no, she was never going to listen, how dare you, and I'm my own person. Five days, and we're sitting here like this. And I am the one living it, <laughs> so that makes total sense, yes. So the topic of today's video is going to probably upset a lot, if not all of my beezers. Really? I will not be doing live streams anymore. <laughs> Let me grab the tissue. Oh, no, it upset your beezers? No, I'm sure they'll really miss being ranted at and paying for the privilege, I'm sure. I will be going to a recorded video format Thank from God. now on. I mean, I she won't be consistent with every anything, but I'll enjoy this while it lasts. Um, I want to say, I'm going to criticize the hell out of this, but I do, and I have always advocated for her to go back to recorded videos because she cannot maintain any kind of consistent sense of being a decent human being while live streaming. I don't think that's the reason she's stopping live streams at all. I think she still wants to smoke, she still wants to do edibles, and she knows at the very least that she can't hide it if she's live all the time. This is, and will continue to be for a while, a presentation for the new guy. Just like when the Nada era started, and um, she was doing live streams essentially for him to hear rather than for us to hear. This is exactly the same MO. So she's saying these things to please the guy she thinks is him. And I say thinks because, again, it's all stereotype. She doesn't know this guy at all. She doesn't really know what's going on at all and can't know. And it's been a very short amount of time. But if the reason weren't so stupid, I would, I would be happy to hear she was going back to videos. Because I think videos are a better, a better long-term future option for her in as much as YouTube is long-term at all. But that's not the reason she's doing it. She's not doing it for her mental health. She's doing it so she can hide things better. I think this will be better for me and I've had a lot of time to think about it. I want to say thank you to those of you who have been supportive to me anyways, regardless of any stage uh, of my life that I've been going through, whether it's been difficult to watch. God damn, that filter's working overtime. Her skin looks flawless, but it's working overtime. To support me, I understand that. And that brings me to why I want to do more recorded videos well, you know instead why, of live honey. streams. Doing the live streams and doing them so often is really compromising my privacy and it is actually taking a toll on my mental health. Yeah, which we have said for what, nigh on two years now, however long the live stream era has been going, live streams have done nothing good for her except make it so that she doesn't have to plan content. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit, but she's not ready to maintain recorded videos at all. She'll do it as long as it's beneficial to her to be able to hide the behaviors that she's trying not to show this guy. But there's no way she can maintain a recorded video because when you do recorded videos, you have to have a reason to turn on the camera. When she does live streams, she doesn't need to have a reason because the chat will maintain the live. And if she doesn't have that, and we're gonna talk about her income later, but it's not going to work because she's so used to being able to do nothing online that having to have a reason is going to kill her. When I was in therapy, my therapist did mention this to me that comments and constant negativity might be affecting me in ways that I don't realize. When she was in therapy, that one session she went to, also, can I... I might be mixing this up with ALR because I did watch her for a while. And actually when this all got too much, I resubscribed to her and I just, I watch it now and I don't figure out how I watched her for so long. She's really insufferable. But I might be mixing this up and creating a false memory with something I heard from Anne Boleyn maybe because the default for both of them was, no, my therapist knows everything about my online life and she's absolutely fine with it. But I swear that that was the argument that Chantelle came up with when she started, started in the one session, the therapy she was going to go to consistently. The first question people had was, did your therapist said get offline? And she was like, no, no, no. And now that might be a, a false memory, but I feel like that happened. 
and I think that has manifested itself in anger rages and so on and so forth that you have seen that I'm so infamous for. Yeah, she's easily triggered and the being easily triggered can be connected to a lot of things. One thing about depression, which I do believe she has, I believe her depression is more situational than she gives it credit for, but she does have depression. And one of the things that come with depression, it isn't always just being sad and, and, and having no energy all the time. I found when I was struggling with depression, my emotional regulation went out the window. So I was quick to go to extreme emotions. And it was one of the reasons I ended up going to see the doctor because I had a conversation with um, one of my tutors one time and we ended up arguing and I was like, I can't, I don't think that was my fault, but I wouldn't usually have acted that way. And it was one of the reasons I went, I went and took the steps I needed to take. So I do believe that part of her, it like not impulsive anger, I don't quite mean it, but part of her lack of uh, emotional regulation is the depression. I believe it's, it's connected to the online hugely, even though she admits it and doesn't admit it as and when is needed. But this isn't the reason. All this stuff she's giving us, yes, it's, it's true that all these things will be impacted, but it's not the reason she's doing it. I will say that that will not be happening anymore. Sure. I will be turning a new leaf. I'm okay, trying really let's hard. See it. I have been talking about it for years, and finally, mm -hmm. today I wake up, and I'm ready to do it. And That's how change works, right? You're always ready to do it. There's no, no red flags here at all looking at this picture of foodie. And that's just how I operate. I'm actually really serious about being very respectful to the culture. So after the first day, she, she put up my first hijab video. And then she did a live saying, I was just trying on how I thought my future life would be. No respect for the culture. She's just like, oh, well, if I put the hijab on, then everything changes within me. I'm a completely different person and this will be my life. Because, again, she's living entirely on the idea of the stereotype of what an Arab woman is. Newsflash, an Arab woman is a woman. She just happens to sometimes be wearing a hijab. Like, this idea that it changes your entirely, entire personality, that you can't be anything else has to be hugely offensive to anyone who wears one. It has to be. This is still very, very new for me, and I really appreciate your patience. And if I do anything to disrespect any culture or religion, please know I do not do it with intention. Really? Because this seems pretty intentional. And it, I really apologize. Sorry for my face being so disbelieving here. <laughs> it is a result of my ignorance in any way. This is definitely a result of ignorance, but the internet does not allow her to remain ignorant on issues for long. So I don't feel she can use it as, as a, an excuse moving forward. It's okay to get things wrong. I, I don't think this is okay, but it's okay to get things wrong and then have someone say, or many someone say, hey, actually, this is, this is what, what happens here and this is how we feel about this but you can't use prolonged ignorance as an excuse. I will do a video on my beliefs on the hijab and dressing moderately in another video, but overall, really? as you will see, there won't be too many changes that- yes, because she's only wearing it on camera for him. Pete's already outed you. You probably won't miss the things that I will be changing and if it's the if rage of the light well, change, yeah. maybe you really didn't want the best for me in the first place that would be all the visas that pay to be in a live stream not wanting the best for her is that right but again this is all about what i want for my life it always has been and it always will remain that way really so what why the why, why the hijab it's all about you so you meet an arabic guy who apparently lives in kuwait and five days later, you're sitting in a hijab talking about dressing moderately. And it's definitely all about you? Come on now. It's all about you in a completely different way. <laughs> the, the maladjustment that she has is entirely responsible for this. But not in the way she thinks. I feel like... You guys will think maybe this video looks a lot rehearsed. It is a little more rehearsed than my usual content, 
So at yeah, first it would be weird and take some time to get used to. You did pre-recorded videos for years and you were fake as hell in those too. This doesn't take a lot of getting used to. We're used to this. But at the same time, I want to start doing things with more intention. And I think this is actually really good for me. I feel good. I don't feel oppressed in any way. I feel absolutely like I'm making a right choice. See, and this is where I talk about the maladjustment in our own brain. So I actually believe that. I believe she is making a choice because I can't imagine any man in their right mind after one, two, three days, which is how long it took for her to start wearing this, would say, hey, I need you to do this, which lends itself to the idea of the guy being a troll and a catfish because I can believe with the history she has online, with her recent... Um, Chain. I don't want to say recent, it's been two years, with, with the path she has taken with her channel and how easy she is to scam and how desperate she is to be loved, I could absolutely see somebody targeting her just to see how far they could push her, quite frankly, just to troll with her and see what they could get out of it. Scammers exist for a reason and she is a prime target. So the fact that she is five days later thinking... Did she actually, she put fiancé in her last video title, right? <laughs> like, thinking this is actually real and making all these choices and being like, oh, my new life, it's going to be amazing. She has a history of doing this. She ha absolutely has a history of trying to erase and remake herself at the drop of a hat for any semblance of a possibility of love. So this is probably entirely her choice, which is just crazy to me and should not be a reason that you're sitting there doing this so yes this is going to be a very different foodie beauty for you guys let's see how long it lasts time i hope that it's one that i am waiting to finish this react and see a live in a bra <laughs> it's gonna happen you will welcome with open arms and we will have a lot of a lot of fun. Again, I think this is really good for my mental health and for my privacy. I agree with both those things, but it doesn't have to be this. She could have started pre-recorded videos not wearing this, not doing this arc, and she would have had exactly the same benefits when it comes to her privacy and mental health. And it is time for me to start making these changes that I talk so much to death about with you guys, and you're frustrated for me. And so here you uh, I'm frustrated with you, not for you. No. <laughs> I actually like how I look more like this covered up. Then why didn't you do this before? And if you like to be covered up, you could cover up in a myriad of different ways. Because guess what? I have the same hair loss problem she has, and I don't sit on the internet with my boobs out. You are in the minority of people that do that online on this platform. So it's easy enough to put some clothes on when you stream and to wear a hat or a wig or a whatever to feel comfortable. That is completely different from the arc you're going on. Then with, with everything hanging out for the world to see, I feel like I'm respecting myself more. So I hope you guys understand that. I don't expect everyone to agree with it. You oh, don't have to good. agree I don't. with one another on our viewpoints. We're not expected to. Okay, so remember that next time you rage, because I can feel it coming. It's in the air. But, again, please be respectful of one another. Of one another. Please be respectful of one another. How about you be respectful of us, and we'll see how this goes. Now... My plan is to have, as I'm a Canadian, have a homestead here, and I will never forget about Pete's and my cats, so I'm planning on dealing with the move, getting all settled in, and everything like that, and then possibly in the future, I'm not sure exactly when, one day you will see me in a video where I'm already in another country. Okay. So let's look at this plan. I did a quick Google before, um, before I started this react because I don't know exactly how the visa procedures go in Kuwait. I haven't worked in Kuwait. 
I've worked in Saudi Arabia, I've worked in Oman, but the visas I get when I go to these places are working visas, so the requirements are slightly different. I did say in my previous video that tourist visas appear to be shut at the moment. Uh, they were shut on August, 20, uh, August 22nd, I think it was, or it might have been August 2022. I might be misremembering, sorry, but I believe it was in August, and I don't believe currently they're open. So the tourist visa, she can apply for herself, and um, it lasts three months. That would be the maximum she could do if they were open. Yeah, I'm not sure what tests and things she would have to provide in order to go. Um, I'd be worried about STDs, personally. I know when I do work visas, I have to go and get tested and prove that I don't have certain STDs. Um, I, the ones that they tend to ban you for or tend to refuse you visas for, I don't think um, she's got any history of but it's something that they do ask for. However, for the tourist visa, I feel like maybe they wouldn't, but they might ask for just like proof of vaccinations against certain illnesses, which wouldn't be as much of a concern for her because she could get them done. This is all pretending she's ever gonna go and this isn't actually a scam, which I believe it is. But let's say she, she somehow managed to do that. Okay, she's gonna talk about memberships in a minute. But even if we take memberships out and somehow she managed to maintain her members, which would be a goddamn miracle because she's shown no evidence of having the drive or the commitment of creating extra content for members on any platform, including this one. So she's going to go down from live streaming multiple times a day, every day, which is what she does now, to making a pre-recorded video. This one was eight minutes long. I believe the last one was 10 or 11. So there's only so many ads you can get into that, right? Now I know a lot of her lives get demonetized, but there is a question of how much money she can make on that schedule because her lives will get a minimum amount of views. Even with those views dropping, they will get a minimum amount of views. And she does them multiple times a day. Even if people are skipping through, even if they're watching at a speed the way I do, like, she will get a certain amount of views on that. And if you cut down your, your input to one third, because she does two or three live streams a day, then you are going to see much, much less income. Then is the fact that her video is a lot shorter. Now, this could go both ways because shorter is easier to um, consume. So maybe it won't impact her as much, but there's only so many ads you can run on that, you know? So she hasn't thought about finances at all. And she's still saying that she's going to move into this new mansion, which, which still, I'm, I'm kind of like, that's a scam. So she's going to move into somewhere where she has higher rent, where she's expecting Pete, as she always does whenever she's going to go travel beezing, expecting Pete to look after what her cats and the two other cats. And I'm assuming, because Pete can't do anything by himself, um, she's still going to hire those housekeepers and that vet. So all the increased costs she was going to have in the new mansion, she is going to maintain on one video a day, assuming consistency, one video a day <laughs> that's somehow going to help her to bring in this money. She lives to the maximum of her capacity all the time and she runs up her credit cards. So she can't afford to do this. She can't afford to do this and she's going to add on the extra costs of what regular flights to Kuwait and the visas and things like that. This isn't going, even if it were an actual thing she did intend to do, financially, this isn't a thing that could happen. It makes no sense. She can't afford to do it. And that's assuming she keeps the memberships. I'm, I'm guessing that the memberships pay a large chunk of her salary right now because her live streams get demonetized so much. So yes, she gets AdSense, and I imagine the AdSense is decent, but the memberships are consistent, usually. She goes on blocking sprees, but people usually sign up, and she's got a lot of trolls in her audience. There aren't many people who actually talk in her live streams, but she has memberships. So I know at one point near the beginning, she was mentioning 450, 550, because we were estimating about 2,500 a month. I imagine her memberships have gone down since when people see the uh, value of them. But even if we were to take half that and say, well, she gets over $1,000, $1,200, something like that, 
that's a big chunk of change for her not to have with the way she wastes money, with the expenses she's going to be taking on very soon, assuming the mansion goes through, and with the extra cost she was going to put into travel. And that's assuming, again, that the scam continues and that he doesn't start asking her for money, which is, I think, the way this is going. If it's not just pure troll to see how far they can push her, I imagine some money will have to exchange hands at some point. It just seems like that kind of setup. So I, I don't see this working in a practical sense, which I realize is not her strong suit. I don't see how she thinks she's going to maintain this. But I'm not planning on moving to another country, just taking up and packing up and, and well, of course leaving my whole life behind. She couldn't do that, just so you're aware. If she wanted to, if she said, I'm moving... She would need a visa to do it. She would need to be sponsored to do it. A family visa would either need to have a sponsor from a Kuwaiti company or it would need to have a sponsor of a relative um, or a resident in Kuwait. Now, theoretically, the guy she's seeing could be that person, but if he's not related to her, they better damn well be married because I don't see them just saying, oh, you just want to import your Canadian girlfriend to, to the, yeah, sure. It's not the way they work. I'm here and my whole existence here forgetting about who I am as a person that's completely you don't know not who my the, goal you don't know who the hell you are as a person there's no forgetting because they don't exist and I think people who truly know me know that you don't truly I know I realize you. in Canada here I have so many responsibilities yep. to my loved ones to my family to you guys and to your own bank account to Pete, to the people you pay bills to. Honestly, let's just be honest. You guys know if we actually do bees overseas, it is going to be tip top quality content. As tip top quality as anything else she puts out. I will say if she somehow makes it to Kuwait. Oh, I'm a too much, I'm torn. I am torn which way I want that to go. She will never make it. Like, for all the reasons that I've just said, she will never make it. But if, oh, because she, like I said, one of the reasons she's going to pre-recorded content is to be able to better hide her living the way she lives, usually, from the internet and the person watching. Yeah? So, if she went to Kuwait, she couldn't get alcohol, she couldn't get um, drugs, so you'd end up, she'd be ready for a meltdown there and then. And I don't think this dude, if he existed in any sense, um, I know we've seen someone in her chats, but like I said, we don't know who's behind the screen. If it exists in any sense, then um, that would be an experience for him. A completely dry, sober foodie. Mm -mm -mm. Even if she, he got her into the country, he'd be throwing her out really quick. I, I hope that you guys are excited with me in this because I'm so excited. There's so many things to do and I feel like, you know, we can go to cinema. We can explore the different... This irritated me. We can go to cinema. Could just have been a misspeak, but I think Foodie's doing a little bit. This I used to notice a lot with the uh, people I met when I was a little bit younger in the whole international teaching circuit. And there was a certain subset of people that used to do this thing who was like, oh, I just pick up accents so naturally. Um, I had actually one of my best friends in the whole world. I met her the first week I was in Japan. She's the girl who lives in Canada that I reference sometimes. I've been friends with her for 15 years. Yeah, we are, we are very close. But the first... I think about two weeks into first knowing her, I had to sit her down and say, stop faking my accent when you talk to me. And we had to have that rather awkward conversation because it was irritating the shit out of me because she is very involved in amateur drama. And it was one of those things which, oh, you know, I just picked them up so easily. And it's a, a slightly cringe thing that some people go through and then they grow up and they realize, oh God. And we've had that conversation since. And I was like, remember when? And she's like, what was wrong with me, you know? And it's just something that people do sometimes. And there is an argument when someone's English is very broken, sometimes you mimic the way they put together sentences um, because it makes understanding easier for them. That is something that happens and I understand. 
but Foodie's known him for five days. And I'm sorry, you may hear in my voice sometimes, I have more interjections. I say things like, okay, so this point, yes? And I do that a lot in my real life because I speak to a lot of ESL uh, learners. ESL learners, English, yeah, that's, that's right. I was just making sure I wasn't being redundant. So the thing with that is you do more check-ins as you give information to give them more time to process it and to just check concept before you move on to a second thing. So you're not throwing information out in twos and threes if they don't understand. That is a result of 15 years of living abroad. And I still speak like me. My accent gets a bit fucked up sometimes, but I still speak like me. She's known him five days, and she's she's already modifying the way she speaks. Um, landmarks, the history, the food, the culture, everything about it. And it's going to be such a wonderful experience. I'd say. And going forward, I just feel super excited about life and these changes have come really fast for me too. My head is spinning as well and it's going to Then why are you doing it? Why not just take a breath? There's no there's no pressure. There's no need to be this quick. Be what's good for me and at the end of the day that's what I always need to try to do. Do I always do that? No, absolutely you not. Never do that. At the time do I think that's the best decision for me? Yes. And you're gonna look in the mirror and you're gonna see these videos in probably a few days time and just be like Jesus Christ so what to expect going forward I think that I will be doing more videos more Honey, vlogs as I said easier and for those me. will consist of a variety of different things such as talking about different things such as doing different things is my goal I would like to right. really talk about different things about my life but okay like what I don't think she knows at all not be so personal my personal relationships with people everything inappropriate to talk about that's very very private uh, very very taboo which is what you are used to seeing we've been begging her to stop with that for, for god nigh on years now and she had she built her channel even when she was mukbanging she built a channel on those story times it's a hugely important part to how she views herself that she has the power to either have or make up these stories. It, even if the stories are made up, which they frequently are, it forms a big part of her self-image that she can imagine herself in these situations because we've, we've talked about the psychology of how she views the relationship before and it's kind of messed up. But this just goes to show that I don't think she's got anything planned for what's going to replace it because even when food was the major content of her channel, she relied on that stuff. I would much rather all the horrible details of Foodie's past imaginary and real relationships were not online. I don't want to go through them. They're a little bit disturbing a lot of the time. But what's she going to do instead? What what real change does she think is going to happen here? I don't know, especially... Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to let her go because she says something in a minute. So I realize this is going to be a very, very drastic change and it's going to take a lot of time to adjust to it. But again... People have a right to choose how they want to live. I oh, have a right to choose how I want to live. That they do. And don't get me wrong. When this when this is revealed to be a scam, it's going to be hilarious. For me, this is just what feels right right now. And mm -hmm. I am super excited for this new adventure and new life and new love. Five days. New love. Hi, Sam. <laughs> And I hope you all are too. That was a minor cat deflection. She wasn't even comfortable saying the word love. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my memberships. Oh, I this. am Hang thinking on. about that. And I will update you further. Because it is not live streams, I understand if you want to stop your membership. If people do that, she's screwed. And giving the opportunity and saying, well, there's going to be no more content, which there might be because I don't see this change lasting long term at all. Um, She's very, very open in, in uh, throwing out pain visas or saying, no, 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 end your membership. This could be the nail in the coffin where people are like, okay, because getting them back once she cuts them off is going to be way harder than having a, ble a visa who was blocked come back on a one-to-one -one basis. Like, if her members leave, very few of them will return. 
I am planning on finding another use for them. Maybe some extra content. On what platform ever has she done that? That is members only, so that way they will be private and only members will be able to access them. And I would ask that you please respect that. Otherwise, I will have to try to... Think about it, what you're threatening. Go to other venues to protect myself. <laughs> go to other venues to protect myself. Okay, so her Patreon has been banned twice. She can't go to Patreon. What, you're going to head to OnlyFans, are you, darling? OnlyFans is the one where she said, oh, they protect your content so much. They, uh, they, they just go after the people. You, you can't get it out. It's fine. I'm like, oh, you're going to go to other venues. She couldn't even get through this, this, this love of life and softly, softly voice without a threat. And then you could see her trying to think of a way that she could phrase that that didn't sound bitter. But what platform are you going to go to? The only other one you could really use would be Twitch. But that's not going to give you any advantages over YouTube. And YouTube has a bigger audience. So what, what are you not quite threatening, but kind of threatening to do here? Where the hell do you think you're going to go? Which I don't want to do. Yeah. So... Well, how would they take OnlyFans? If we take OnlyFans as the answer, because I think it's the one she's thinking of. If she's turning over this new leaf for this guy, you think he's going to take her being on OnlyFans? No. She's already deleted. Oh, I didn't say this at the beginning of the video. I meant to. She deleted a ton of videos, recent ones, where, um, you, know, you know, like the question mark one and all of that when she's talking about screwing the married man. Because, you know, he's aware of her channel and all the history, but she's already trying to sanitize it. There's no way he knows all the details. I already have enough on my plate, as you all know. So going forward, I know the changes are going to be so drastic for my content. I'm sure, I'm sure. But Let's maintain again, them. For me in my life, anyway, I'm super happy. Oh, she changed her mind. And I will see you guys in the next video. Oh. Thank you. Bye. Bye. And we'll see. Last time this lasted for one video. And then she was in the car eating food saying, nah, I was just trying it out. And now she's back. So we can expect, if she continues pre-recorded videos, we can expect her faking this new life to address the new guy, to show, look, look how, how, how well I'm changing. Look how suitable I'd be in, in Kuwait as a wife for you. Because she's got no idea how real people live anywhere, other than in her room. And we can probably expect as she realizes how badly her income is going to take a hit, some panic and some um, changes. Like we see them at the end of every pay period when she's gonna change the diet, she's gonna cook more, it's cause she's out of money. I expect to see that much more uh, prevalently as uh, time goes on. It was already sort of coming to the forefront, but if she physically completes the move the way she's intending to, she gonna be broke. She was already struggling, she gonna be broke. So we're going to see, we probably won't see the impact of the, um, of the livelihood for another few weeks because all the money for the next paycheck has been ratified already. Sorry, I had to have a pause to cough. Um, so we won't see the impact really of what she's doing right now if she sustains it for another month and a half or so. But it will be interesting. We'll remember the date. We'll see uh, how her behavior changes. All right, everybody, I'm going to leave you there and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.